Hello everyone! Of course, we couldn't help but react to such a top match, Man City vs PSG. And today we will share with you the football world's reaction to this event. We are sure that you watched the match itself, and even if this is not so, then you certainly checked out the highlights. So talking about the match is a waste of your time. So let's get started! Sit back, support the video with a like, and subscribe if you enjoy our work. Let's go! I just don't believe teams can carry anybody now. PSG now has three passengers on their team, Lionel Messi, Kylian Mbappe and Neymar, says Jamie Carragher, a football expert and a legendary footballer known for his performances for Liverpool and England national team. There are four teams who I think can win the Champions League – Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea and Bayern Munich. They do not carry one passenger in the team. PSG are carrying three. They've got absolutely no chance of winning the Champions League. Absolutely no chance. I get frustrated watching it. Most of all, the situation with Mbappe is not clear to me. I can almost understand Messi to a certain extent. He's 34. He has to save himself. I don't think they can carry him to win the Champions League. Let's not forget Barcelona haven't won the trophy for a long time. Mbappe is 22. He should be sprinting back and getting back helping the teammates against the top Man City team. This thing about walking around the pitch, it's not for me. When I see Salah and Mane sprinting everywhere, I see De Bruyne, I see Morris, Sterling, Müller, Lewandowski. They are working for defense too. I just can't accept. I don't care how good they are that they don't work for the team. The days of carrying passengers are long gone. And that's why such teams as Liverpool, Bayern and Chelsea are the latest Champions League winners. I've said this about Ronaldo as well, but at least Ronaldo is getting goals. Ronaldo is also a passenger, but without the ball, I think, Manchester United has no chance to win the Champions League. He needs goals to justify his presence in the field. Against Manchester City, PSG scored only once, and this was not enough. Unless you score, you are carrying passengers. And at this level of football, you'll have no chance. PSG is unable to win the Champions League with the Messi, Mbappe and Neymar trio. Gargar concluded. How do you like that opinion? And while you're writing your comments, we move on to the next reaction to the match. Former Manchester City midfielder Owen Hargraves commented on the match. I thought that was a masterclass from Manchester City, without De Bruyne and Foden too. Messi and Neymar must be walking off the pitch thinking, I wish I could play in the team like that. It was a thing of beauty. It was 2-1, but it felt like a lot more. BBC quotes Hargreaves. But the Daily Mail journalist Jack Gaughan very colorfully described the arrival of Leo Messi to Eddie Hutt. Further, we quote. The circus came to Manchester with a ringmaster whose city really rather fancied themselves and always seemed destined to park the wagon here. There were children wearing Paris Saint-Germain shirts bearing his name. They took place in home stands. A gaggle of selfie hunters have congregated around the Lowry Hotel earlier in the evening to catch a glimpse at Messi as he strode onto the bus. The pre-match merchandise sellers did a roaring trait. But most pointedly of all were the hordes of city fans outside the Eddie Hut, who did not quite know where they were going. They visited the stadium for the first time and were unsure of which turnstile was theirs. There were quite a few here who would count watching one Lionel Messi as more of a pull than the meeting of last season's semi-finalists. Some regular City fans were complaining in the week that they just could not get their hands on tickets. This occasion welcomed a new breed of potential fan to City's home, the type that chief executive Ferran Soriano craves. Soriano and more than a few others among City's hierarchy will have witnessed on Wednesday night and wondered what might have been if Messi had moved to Manchester City. Messi's arrival in summer 2020 would have proven transformational for the Premier League champions. They had drawn up 10-year marketing plans on how best to cash in on Messi's brand and his mere presence would have rocketed the club into another stratosphere. That was so clear on Wednesday night. The crowd were up, in a way that just doesn't happen in the group stages of this competition, and Messi's arrival was a major contributing factor. 
Guardiola had one in him for the sheer weight of goals, the chinks of brilliance, the clever occupancy of space. Messi fits into any team, but he definitely fits into Guardiola City as a false nine. Yep, they would need to alter their team pressing in the final third, particularly during a season where a lack of a striker has been such a talking point, he would have looked great with City, arguably more so than at Maurizio Pochettino's PSG in a way. But he still impacted this game. Kylian Mbappe opened the scoring, but he owed much to the master who built his goal. It was Messi who assisted Kylian and he scored. And Messi made it himself. The PSG fans knew it. Messi, Messi, Messi! Came the chance from a packed away end. Finishes the journalist. And here's the most various football Twitter bloggers' opinions of the match. I love Messi to death, but PSG football just makes me sick. I said it for years even before he went there. They are not trying to play football, they just wait for counters. Such uninspiring football given how many great players they have. A blogger writes, Mbappe, Messi and Neymar were all playing tonight, but Cancelo, Rodri and Bernardo Silva were the best in the pitch. A journalist, Rafael Hernandez notes. Looking at this PSG site. It's seven players defending, three up front who doesn't care to run without the ball. No matter who coaches PSG, in today's football these will punish you against good teams. There's just no way they win the Champions League, no matter the coach, writes a blogger with a nickname Guardiolista. Remember the noise that we all made around this PSG site, especially when Messi joined? The artworks, the gladiator representations. The idea that with Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, etc., they were going to cut all teams into pieces and burn the carcass to ashes. Apologies to football, journalist Sadik Adams sneers at himself. Messi is a big liability to PSG. He offers little to nothing to the team. He was never needed at PSG. His presence is causing more harm than good to PSG gameplay. He just strolls around the pitch like a watchman topped their Champions League group for four seasons straight until Messi, says another football fan with a nickname Zeus. Friends, what do you think? What was your reaction to this match? Let us know your opinion in the comment section. And did you like this kind of video on our channel? It was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a good one and see you in a bit.